So now we're going to make a contour map of our datum shifts. And what we're going to do is first take this uh, table that we've made and export it out as a DBF. So in order to export, I'm going to click on Options. I'm going to click on Export. And as opposed to clicking over here and doing data, export data, this kind of this kind of data export will only export out the table only. So that's all I'm exporting right now. And I'm going to go here and export it out into my H drive in my GeoCraft folder. And my lab four folder and I'm gonna call it uh, datum shift. Oops, wrong button. <laughs> Close. So I'm gonna go here and call this datum shift. And I'm gonna save it. And that's going to export out this table now. And again, you can see that this is going to take some time. So give yourself another 10 minute break. So it finished up now and it's asking me do I want to add the current table to my map. And I'm just say go ahead and say yes. So that's going to be added to my map. And the way I can see my tables and map is by going over to sources. And if I go to source, I can see here date and shift. And that's my table. If I double click it, or I'm sorry, if I right click and say open I'm going to be able to see all the different information that I calculated earlier including the X shift and the Y shift and the XY so forth and since I mislabeled mine I'm going to go back here and fix my labels and just write uh, X shift ok and then I'm going to go over here and change this label over to Y shift ok so everything looks ready now and so now I'm going to use this table to make an XY event. So either I can right click here and say display XY data, or of course I can do my tools and add XY data. So add display XY data, and I want to do that for my NAT83, and then you see I can see my X field and my Y field. And of course that this is, is, is in NAT83, so I choose my coordinate system, select, <clears throat> geographic coordinate system North America and then NAT83 ok and I hit ok and I hit ok and now I have my points made so if I just zoom in here you can probably see what's going on a little bit better and you can see there is a point right there in the center of each of these boxes switching over to display again of course I can add my datum shift events also I can bring it down into my NAT83 uh, and I can activate it over here to switch between data frames and again also I can zoom in uh, just bring my states and hit the bottom I can zoom in and see my points right in the center Perfect.